Plus the gravy dip. It's going straight to your hips. Do I look worried? Must have got my dad's metabolism. Over here. No matter how grim it gets, there's always a silver lining. I don't know. trying to work things out. Me and your mother. The honeymoon was everything I imagined and BG was stunning. Not that we left the hotel room. Is he suddenly not gay anymore? That is so rich! Coming from the girl who said with half the North Shore. At least I'm not a bitch. You know what? Brad was right about the bitch thing. Oh, I have been really, really horrible. It'll all be okay. I'm so not a slut. And my husband is not a homo. And I'm not in love with Amy. For one whole year, I am going to help at least one person every month. This, I absolutely swear. I'm going to find the one. True love. That in one year's time, I will be married. Still. I am aiming higher. <laughs> Here's the thing about Amy wanting to help others. It's great and everything, except you can't say what you're really thinking, like, why now? And don't you know the rugby's on? And if you did say that, you'd look like a prick, eh? What about this one? Oh, it's a, um, a skirt. No, it's a dress. Oh, you're right. Cocktail dress, actually. Same diff, jeez. Uh, aren't you gonna give that to one refuge? Are you saying that battered women aren't allowed to look nice? No. I hope you weren't going to say that if they looked a bit better in the first place, it wouldn't happen at all. I wasn't. Good, because that would be an awful thing to say. I wouldn't. See what I mean? Now I'm a prick. Hello, Hi, sweetheart. Uh, oh. I get a kid. <sighs> What's going on? Uh, well, just wondering if I could get down here for a couple of days. Uh, we're winning. <laughs> what did she do? Uh, nothing. What happened to working things out? <sighs> You know how your mother overreacts. Any chance of a couple? Actually, Kevin and I were just heading out. I am about the game to start. Get you, Larry. Amy's helping, so I have to as well. How does that work exactly? You convince them to come back and then you throw them out for nothing. It wasn't nothing. Well, have you tried counselling? Ha! I forgive you for everything, Stacy. Lucy, and even Marnie. <sighs> Don't know what I saw on her. She was a morange. But this is great, getting it out like this. There is one other thing I should probably mention. You did what? Your father slept with one of your friends. <laughs> what? No way. Oh, Britta. Well, she's pretty friendly, hey? Not her. Cody. Oh, shit. Maybe it's good I was here. So take a piece of my heart, babe. And take a piece of my heart, babe. Because there's no one in the world that can do it better than you can. Take a piece of my heart, babe. Take a piece of my heart, babe. Yeah, no, it's got to be bullshit, eh? She's home. Get us another beer, Cody. These are so yum. Cody! Hi, guys. Oh, shit. Sorry, I didn't realise. Oh, just Eli's mates, eh? Hey, what are those? Oh, Vietnamese rolls and deep-fried fish balls. Oh. From the Valentine? No. I made them. Oh, you cook? I can cook. Yeah, have sausages and shit like you used to. Look, I'll have you guys over next week, OK? All right, let's go. Cody, hold on. There's something I need to ask you. Can't it wait? No. Did you do anything with my dad? Like what? But, you know, doing it. I mean, I know you wouldn't, of course. But with Larry, of course not. Oh, my God. I knew it. I knew it had to be a mistake. Yeah, for sure, Ames. Any more for Greg's bed? Uh, well, I'll get them. We were just going. Have a great night. Kevin! Yeah, these are really good. Yeah, yeah. Good. Everything all right? Yeah, sweet. So, yeah, that was that. All sorted. Bugger me, she did do it. The, the, the fish balls. I thought Cody just picked them up from the barn, but these actually taste different, eh? 
You went to Cody's? Yeah, after we went round to see Mum, who has things totally wrong, as usual. But don't worry, you have my complete support. Ellie told you? Yeah, but... Oh, Counselor, you're supposed to be confidential, Mum. Wonder your mother and I have got trust issues. Yeah, but it's not true. Did so... you tell you about Tony Renshaw? Hmm? Got on with him two weeks before we were married. Yeah, but this isn't true, so... And with his handlebar moustache. She said you couldn't stand facial hair. But you didn't do it. This is typical of your mother. Once she's on her high horse, she doesn't care who she hurts. But it's not true. Yeah, well, about that. Oh, bugger. Oh, my God! Mm -hmm. chuck it like this, I'd be holding on to this one. Maybe you should learn how to cook, babe. Mm. Except Zave lives on protein shakes. So there wouldn't be much point. Uh, anyone for a refill? Don't hold back, my man. Mm -hmm. Where's the fire? Oh, I'll get it. I just don't get why Dad would say something like that if it wasn't true. Uh, look, I can't talk about it right now. But there is something to talk about. Look, not now. Oh, my God. It's true. Should I clear the plates, babe? Oh, I'll be right there. Hey, mate. Hey. Again? Yep. This was bad, all right. Major doo-doo. So there was only one thing for it. Alcohol is not the answer. I know, but you can make me drink it anyway, yeah? She did it. I could see it. It was written all over her well, face. Let's just tie her on this one, Ames. But when? And how many times? Well, we don't know that she did it, Ames. Maybe it was last year before she got married. Oh, Codes would not want to marry Larry. Well, he was separated. She was desperate. She is not that desperate. What are you saying about my dad? Nothing but Code is a good mate, yeah? Oh, not if she did that. A friend would never, ever do a friend's dad. Oh, well, is that like a rule? It doesn't have to be, because no one who was a friend would even consider it. But wouldn't a friend want to check if this was bullshit? Especially before she goes around making accusations in front of that friend's husband. And especially if she decided that this year she wants to help people. Hey, that actually made sense. And it's getting through to her. You know I'm right. Shut up. Any more for any more? Ah, uh, Cooper's on a diet. Hey, but I'll take that, love. Hi, hi, Eli. Hi, everyone. Uh, the door was just open. <laughs> Honey, are you okay? What are you doing here? Well, it's just Larry came to see Jan. And... What have you done this time, Larry? Mum. Oh, come on. If Allison's kicked him out, he must have done something. Come on, Spell. It's a slow night on the telly. Well, you'll hear about it eventually. Larry? I know, but it sounded for real and he wasn't even pissed. It was a long time ago, okay? And yeah. uh, it was nothing, okay? And I'll call oh you tomorrow. Good. Okay? Right. Hey! <sighs> Just my mate say. Oh, who'd like a coffee? I think we'll make a move. No, I believe you. I love boots to it. Mm. Oh, sweetheart. So, it took a couple of bodies, but eventually... You're right. I've got to be calm and non-judgmental and just put the whole thing out of my mind. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God! I can't believe it! Cody did your dad? No, we do not know that for sure. I think she did. Oh, yeah. Well, how do you know? She said it happened, but a long time ago. Yeah, well, what does that mean? Yes, it can't be weeks. But when? Oh. I don't know. I mean, it's not like she had heaps of guys. Jason Paratai. Mm, for like three weeks, and they never did it. Really? He only said they did to make his girlfriend jealous. Well, we know she did it at least once, because... Oh, no. What? Yeah, what? We know she did it at least once, because... Oh, awesome. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, no. Larry is not Possum's dad, OK? Get off. He can't be. He can't be, because Cody got knocked off at the underage gig at the Masonic and Larry wasn't at that. Unless he stopped in for a drink. There was no drink, apart from Jen I nicked from Nan, and... Anyway, Larry was never on the list of suspects. Well, you guys said suspects. Oh, come on, you can't say you didn't wonder. And, I mean, there were other guys there. There was Fabian Black, Paul Westerman... Uh, Michael Simmons, Daniel McClintock... I've got a big guy. Oh, and his dreams. 
Um, it wasn't too small. Anyway, the point is it kind of being Larry because he wasn't at the Masonic. Oh, of course he wasn't. Well, hmm. that's that then. All settled. As if. Well, that went pretty well. Yeah, apart from your mates turning up every five minutes. Yeah, sorry about that. But what was so important that they couldn't leave you alone for one night? Nothing. Look, if they're hassling you, tell me what's up. I can't. You can. I can't, because it's dumb and sad and you'll hate me. Well, you'd have to tell me this for me to know that, babe. Or do you only share stuff with your mates and not me? No, I, I didn't tell them. He told them, and I don't get why he did, because it was, like, years ago and so not important. Who told them what? Larry. Amy's dead. I kind of, you know, with him once. You sleep with Larry? But it was more like this drunk fumble and I'd pretty much forgotten all about it because it was so stupid and dumb. You do hate me. No. But it, it's so awful and it's so embarrassing. Well, and it was years ago, what does it matter? Yes, but... but Unless you're still keen on the guy. No! God, no! He's Amy's dad. In the past is the past, that's what I reckon. So, we don't have to mention this ever again. Mention what? <gasps> so, some people let things go, which is totally fair enough. And other people? Dad. Hey, Princess. Fancy some breakfast? No. Do my poached eggs. When did it happen? Oh, love, did we really have to talk about this? Considering you're going around telling everyone, I'd say yes. When did it happen? I don't know. It was one of those big parties we used to have up at the old place. Which party? There were so many. Oh, it wasn't one of my birthdays. <laughs> of course not. Actually, it was one of mine. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be right. Your 40th? I think it was my 35th. Oh, It'd be only 97. Oh, no. Love, there's no need oh, to get no. so worked up about it. Yes, Cody had her baby in 1998. You're talking about 1997? Yes, which is the year before 1998. Yeah. And your birthday's in September and Possum's born in June, so that means that... Oh, come on! Cody had loads of boyfriends. No, she didn't. She must have. I mean, she was always big, but never unattractive. I don't ever want to speak to you ever again. That's a bit extreme. Do you know how old I was at that birthday? Is it important? I was 15. And so was Cody. I could have got it wrong. I mean, I lost a lot of brain cells back then. What with the drink and the... The man's got a point. And some people would go, yeah, the past is the past. But for chicks, the past is something they hang on to so they can prove some stupid point years later. And once they're locked on, they're like the Terminator meets a detective meets a front-end loader. The ultimate digging machines. Another clear out? No, I was looking for something. Oh, we've got to get going, eh? Sunday, lunch with Cody's olds. Oh, we can go without you. No, I'm coming. My dad's 35th birthday. It was a week before the underage gig at the Masonic. No way. The date's right there. So you keep uh, flyers from old gigs? Is that important right now? Oh, my God, this is Brad's writing. Yeah, it was the first thing he ever gave me. Oh. <laughs> Wish I hadn't asked. Oh, that is so sweet. And also so amazing. Because if he hadn't written you something so sweet, then you wouldn't have kept this so you wouldn't know the date. It's still not proof. Not yet. Ames, you cannot hassle codes, OK, at lunch with her parents. How could you even think I would do a thing like that? 
better experience, maybe? Going to show my support. Thank you, sweetheart. You're welcome. Listen to you. It's what Naomi and my class is all the time. Here is the problem, okay? Once a thing is out, you can't put it back. And once it's in your head... Naomi's from California, and we ask her for pens and things so we can say thank you and hear her say, you're welcome. It's just the cutest. Hello? Did you get your eyes for Christmas? Stop it, you. You always say it's rude to stay. Kevin's a guest. He can do what he likes. Oh! Hi. Hey. Hi. Um, sorry we're late. You're young married, you can do what you like. <laughs> yeah, too right. Are you talking about sex? I just oh. meant it's nice to have a sleep in on a Sunday morning. If that's true, then why do we have to go 8 o'clock mass? <laughs> Sharp as a tech, that one. I wonder where she gets that from. No idea. But this looks great, Mum. It's just what I usually do. At least I think it is. <laughs> <laughs> well, you definitely don't the truth will set you free. My gran used to say. But I reckon she might have been wrong about that one, eh? Oh, shit. Amy's about to make her move. Got to stop it. Hey, take the game for you. Oh, yeah, good one, Woody. I'll, I'll do the dishes, eh? Oh, no, that's sweet. I'll do them. You go and sit down with Kev, baby. So, did you have a good night last night? Sorry about interrupting. Oh, that's okay. And just so you know, she told me all about it. She did? Yeah, the whole lot. Oh, that is great. Well, she is my wife, you know. No, that she can be that honest. You know, we've always wondered about Possum. But Cody's always said she couldn't remember. What's this? You know, Possum, I'm still trying to get my head around it. But if she told you... What the hell are you on about? Why didn't you tell me about Larry? I did. Well, if what Amy says is true, then you left quite a bit out. Well, Amy gets pretty thing about her You dance. had a baby when you were 15. Why Was he the father? Let's go back in, eh? Otherwise, Mum's going to worry. You said it didn't matter, and then we didn't have to mention it again. Yeah, well, I didn't know you got knocked up to him, okay? Oh, and that kind of thing never happens where you come from. Well, it doesn't make it right. What's done is done. The past is the past. That's what you said. You should have told me the truth. There it is again. Eli. Eli, stop. Wait! Would you wait? Would you wait? Like a man waits for his proof, and would you wait? The truth. It's a cracker, all right. See in a rushing tide, and would you wait, would you wait for me? OK, give me a choice of the truth or a nice, gentle lie. I'm picking lying every time. Everything all right, love? Oh, yeah, Eli just had to go see his manager on a Sunday. Yeah, crazy, eh? Cody, I'm so sorry. I thought he knew. Well, he didn't. But it is true. How in the hell is this meant to be helping? You girls all right, Lou? Uh, yeah, we're fine, Mum. <laughs> Dad told me it happened at his 35th birthday party, and I couldn't help but do the maths. No, I don't want to talk about it. OK, sure, later. No, not later, not ever. But, Cody, aren't you listening to me? That was the worst thing that happened in my whole life. All I want to do is not talk about it, not think about it ever, OK? Do you need a hand in there? No, we're sweet. And, um, Amy was just going. Well, uh, yeah, we should... Probably take off to what about the second half? Oh, I'll have to catch it tomorrow. Thank you. Thanks for uh, everything. Bye. It's possible to join a monkey for an appetizer. Don't know why you bother with a crossword. <laughs> Gotta keep the grey matter going. I'd stick to Sudoku. Canopy. Can and ape. It's possible for a monkey If you to... say so, Larry. Mum, what are you doing? Having a gin. Want one? What about Larry? He can have one if he wants. He's a recovering alcoholic. We're meant to be supporting him. Oh, give that back. Mum, let go. Oh, bloody well. It's not ruining my Sunday. It's meant to be a day of rest. Oh. Rest! Passed out more height. Oh! Oh! You can talk, can go! Everything okay here? Oh, Mum and I are just having a wee discussion about the benefits of an alcohol-free day. She wouldn't know the meaning of the word. 
you go for your life. I was just going for a walk anyway. Yeah, you don't have to. Oh, I don't want to be in any trouble. Let's get louder and then you'll hear Oh, you're a little too loose then. Hey, my man. How's Mary life? Don't you speak to me like that. Just being friendly, mate. You don't say anything. Not anymore, especially not about my missus. I was just trying to tell the truth, all right? Yeah, and you can stop that too, right now. Hey, there's no need to get aggro here. Yeah? You took advantage of a 15-year-old girl and you're bragging about it. I didn't. You're denying it now. She was more than capable of taking care of herself. Jesus! We all know about Cody's right hook. <laughs> 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 Oh, my lord! You deserve that for what you did. Possibly. Bro, I got it. All of it. Watch, watch, watch. Oh, there's the punch. Shit. Come here. Hey, come here. Okay, it's official. I didn't want to know anything anymore, but... I wanted to support her. I did. There was a new detective on the case. But Cody said it was the worst thing that ever happened in her whole life, ever. Yeah, well, come on. She had a baby. That has got to hurt. <laughs> But what if that isn't what she was talking about? Oh, don't go there, don't. I'm not saying anything, but what if... What if what? Uh, what if your dad, you know... No! No way! Look, I know your dad's not a bad person, but people do things when they're pissed. We were all a bit pissed that night. Yeah, I don't really remember it, though, eh? Yes, you do. Amy's parents' punch, we used to call it the killer punch. It was like 1% tea and 80% alcohol. Brad <laughs> <laughs> likes me! Well, hello! Tell me something they don't know. You wrote me this. Oh. I'm sneaking out tonight to see him. Oh my god, that is so romantic. But I don't remember Code being there. Of course she was there. Oh my god, you have to go. You have to go. Of course you do. Okay. okay. <laughs> Okay, so she was there, but my dad is not. Uh, he wouldn't. Well, why else would she be so upset? I don't even want to think about it. Me too. I know it's awful, but you have to admit it's a possibility. <sighs> oh, God. Loving that truth thing. Don't! All the way. In here, babe. Hi. Just uh, sorting a few things for my mate here. What kind of thing? Uh, well, Eli got a bit worked up over certain issues, which is fair enough. But we wouldn't want it all over the internet, would we? What are you going on about? Um, talk about your cut price paparazzi. Here we go. There's a plat with a mobile phone. Jesus! Mm. Cost me to get the phone off the little dickhead. Still, no harm done. You reckon? Well, you can't blame the man. And at least now we know that Eli's not the only one with a skeleton or two in the closet. You told him. I hate to bet. You're a dark horse. But it goes no further, don't worry. Larry's the father. Are you sure about this? Yeah. And it, and it happened in our house. Yes. But your father's really outdone himself this time, hasn't he? But how could he do that to my friend? I know you're fond of him, but he probably wasn't thinking about you at all. I don't mean that like it sounds. No, you know what? You're right. You always have been. He's a creep and selfish and... You know what? He must have put you through hell. I never thought Shh. about it. I'm all right. I've been so mean to you. And Cody... Amy, this is not your fault. No, I should have been looking out for her that night. Amy, she was a little girl at my house. You all were. I, I, I should have... It's my responsibility. How am I going to face him? God, what if he forced her? Darling, I will handle this. It's not your job and you shouldn't have to, OK? Quite a shiner, Larry. Larry! Larry! Look who's here! Hello. I'd like a word of my husband, if you don't mind. Go for your life. Downstairs. 
can bring the gin. You thug of a husband. If you want to go as well, take your shot. Oh, don't give me that self-pity routine. Righto. This thing with Cody. Yeah? It was at your 35th. Not the best night all round. What happened, Larry? I hope you're not going to say I don't remember. As a matter of fact, there is one bit I do remember. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> you and Todd Slattery. You didn't mention that in bloody counselling. Oh, well, it was a kiss, that's all. That's why he had his hand on your tip. Well, he fancied me. I was flattered. Jumped up. Is that why you fired him? His sales figures sucked. Couldn't sell a wheelchair to a cripple. But nothing happened. Got your word on that, have I? Well, it's no excuse to prey on an innocent young girl. Innocent? Cody? She was underage. It's illegal. Oh, call the cops on me again, would you? Over a mistake. A mistake. Forcing yourself on a teenage girl is a mistake. Hey? That isn't nothing, Larry. Never force myself on anyone. Christ, is that what you think? I don't know what to think, Larry. It wasn't like that. Believe me, Ellie. Come on, you know me. Yeah, I do. <sighs> Why didn't you turn that thing off, babe? I guess she would have heard about you smacking your dad. Okay, I shouldn't have done that. No, you shouldn't have, because if I'd wanted to smack Larry, I'd have done it myself. I just saw red, okay? It's certainly not going to help with keeping things quiet. I've said I'm sorry. What more can I do? I thought Flinty was here because you were going to dump me. No way. Because it wouldn't be good for your image? I don't care about that. That is your career. I care about you. I know whatever matters to you. So what are you going to tell Possum? Hey, <laughs> how did she get in this conversation? Well, he is her dad. He's had nothing to do with her. And she's happy the way she is. Why, and she never asked? Of course, because she's annoying. <laughs> I've always just said I was too munted to remember. And I've been saying it for so long kind of got to be true. Woody is her dad. Gwen's her mum. I can't think of one good reason to stuff with that. Works for me. You reckon? Sometimes denial's the best tactic. Do nothing. It'll blow over. Yeah. Uh, no. Oh, hi, Gwen. Oh, hello. Um, sorry to interrupt your morning, but uh, I think we need to have a chat about the kids. Oh. OK. Come in. I'll pop the kettle on. My mum was really great about it. She was? Yeah, she is a very wise person. <laughs> That's not what you usually say. Well, maybe not, but... She... You usually say she's an unsympathetic cow or even a total bitch. Oh, hey. I would never use the B word about my mother. Yes, like when she shopped your dad and that other time when she went to see Brad's mum and remember there was but that... You told your mum. Yeah, I had to, for Cody. No, you didn't. I had to help. God, especially if she's been... Ames. You think it's better that all this just gets swept under the carpet? Yeah, that's what I do think, because I don't see how this is helping anyone at all. I don't know. Better out than in, Kev. Ah, oh, that's right. The place won't fall apart if I'm late. Oh. Poor Amy. Why? Well, do you know how much she used to worship Larry? Yeah, well, she's always been pretty much deluded on that one, eh? Oh, yeah, well, I'd hate it if my dad did something like that with one of my friends. Not that I have a dad, or I'd ever do a dad. That's like a rule, eh? No dads? Well, there have been a couple of guys who were dads, but the kids were small. Well, so hang on. You can do dads. Rita! 
Only if they're young dads and quite cute, and not if you're a friend of their kid. Rita. What, Mum? Have you seen my polka dot blouse? No. Well, it was in my wardrobe and now it's gone. Thank you. Yeah. Why would I want to wear your blouse? It'd be nice from that strange sack you're wearing. One of those old harridans is probably nicked it. Honestly, the way they go on about my clothes, but they still steal them. Oh, this is bad. All this talk about parents and Britta's old lady is actually quite hot and not even that old. Uh-huh. I have to bloody eye on it. What were you talking about? Hi. Were you staring at my mum? <laughs> no, of course not. Oh, well, I was. I think she's got quite good boobs for someone her age. Yeah, well, I didn't really notice those. So. Oh, it's pretty hard not to, Kev. Yeah. Duh. You don't want to do my mum. Hey, of course not, no. Ugh. God, I wish we never started talking about this. Good, because she would eat you alive. Yeah. Hello, sweetheart. I bought these. Lovely. G'day, love. I'd hit those streets, huh? Took him back. Why would you do that? Well, living with Jan and her mother was hardly going to help his recovery then, aren't they, Drink? What about what he did to Cody? Look, he's explained and it's all... You let him talk you around! No, that's not how it was. I've made him face... What about Cody, things. Mum? What about her? Look, she'll be fine, love. And I've talked to Gwen and Wirry. No. Are you meant to be at work? I got your father to call in sick. One day off won't hurt. What's happened? Are you okay, Mum? <laughs> You're worried about me now. Well, I always worry about you. No, you don't. Gwen. Alison had the decency to come and speak to us this morning. With Larry. Oh. Yeah. So now we need to deal with that and how to tell Possum who her father is. Oh, crap. I beg your pardon? I, I mean, oh, bother. I don't care if you bloody swear. I just want an answer. Well, Mum... We uh, have to tell her. No, no, we don't. It's been cool for all this time, so... Cool! You think it's been cool? One love. You think it's cool that your 15-year-old daughter gets pregnant and that she's so intoxicated she can't remember the father? The nights I spent lying awake Mom. And then to find out that you lied to me all these years! You've been lying to Love. me! I thought this was about possum. Yeah, that's right, it is. But you have never taken responsibility for any of this. And it's not right, and it's not fair! My love, I'm crying. <laughs> Take some time to think about this. Come on. We'll talk about this again. Okay. It's not okay. I'm really sorry. You, you bloody should be. And I'm so angry that they could go and get back together and then blame you like you're the bad person when he's to blame, not you. Oh, hold on. What? I know what my dad did to you. And it's wrong. So completely wrong to take advantage like that. Oh, shit. Get you. Would be long, eh? We're nearly finished, babe. The crap, it's hitting the fan. Everyone knows. What, you want me to call Flinty? Uh, no, this isn't about what gets in the paper. But I thought we... I know what we said, but it's not working. My parents hate me. And they want to tell Possum. And Amy's gone off on this total tangent, and she's never going to speak to her olds again. Well, and that's important. She's my friend. Yeah, I got it. If I don't deal to this, talk to them, it'll only get worse. So you'll be home a lot later, then? 
Yeah. Well, have fun with your friends. Uh, Eli, wait. Hi. Um, if we're going to do this, I want him here. Cheers, Eli. Uh, what happened to the fancy cooking, eh, Coat? That's off. So, the moment of truth. Not that I want to hear about anyone doing it with Larry, especially my best mate. So, uh, what do we get? Uh, pepperoni or... Uh... Kevin, sit down. Okay. You need to know about everything, because I didn't not remember about how I got possum. I lied to you. All of you. We know you did, and we totally get why. No, you yeah. were out of it, and Munted, you've always said so. They kill a punch. For a start, I didn't drink the stupid punch. Only a girl would do that. And I can hold my piss. Always could, even then. Oh, that's, that's true, eh? Anyway, um, I was at the party, and it was kind of late, about midnight. Oh, have you seen Ames in the No. Oh, my God! Someone threw up in the oven! Oh, it wasn't me. Oh, that is appalling! Kev! I looked for you guys everywhere. But in the end, I thought, I might as well go home. Except... What are you doing out here? Oh, just, you know, walking, thinking. Good place for her. What have you got there? Party's really going off? Yeah. Maybe. You know, sometimes, no matter how many people are around, you end up feeling like the loneliest schmuck in the world. I know what you mean. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You got your mates. Still feel like a loser sometimes? You're a great girl. The best. Apart from being fat and ugly. Now that is bull. You're gorgeous. You won't end up like me. Pissed over the hill. 35's not that old. Hmm. <laughs> Thanks, love. See? Now that's a killer smile. He didn't take advantage or do anything dodge, okay? I started it. He was just being nice and... Oh, God! I don't know how I could have, except... I didn't think about him like your dad. He was just someone who liked me and then I thought, it's good get this out of the way and then it won't be with some rugby jock who'll laugh about it and tell people at school about how he nailed the fat chick. He... He was your first. Yeah. Anyway, the next day I went to church and said about 16 Hail Marys and tried to forget all about it. And then a couple of months later I was up the duff. So you lied about the Masonic? I had to. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. And you want to know why? Because I knew if I told you the truth, you would have hated me. I mean, I hated me. Shit. Oh, babe. We let you down. Eh? I came to find you, but 
Then I went out and had a joint with this car salesman guy and I told him that I smoked heaps of Dak, but it was, it was actually my first time and I totally spun out. That's okay. No, it's not. I threw up all over his shoes. At least you weren't sick in the oven. Someone spewed in the oven. Well, <laughs> you were with Brad and Kev was... I don't, I don't really remember. Oh, look, you guys, none of that matters at all. Babe, I'm so sorry. Me too. Love me. Love you. You're still my friend. You always will be. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> it is totally not the same when another guy is watching, eh? You're my best friend, you always will be. You do. <laughs> I feel so much better. Mm. And it was really cool to have you there with the guys. Oh, and from now on, you're always included. You don't have to do that, Mary. But I want you to. Actually, no, you really, really don't have to do that. <laughs> what, you don't want to do hugging and crying no, and kissing? And... I might leave that whole man girl thing to Kevin, eh, baby? Ready? This is definitely one I have to do solo. So let me get this straight. Larry Smart's my dad, not some random white guy. I said that. The same Larry Smart who's Amy's dad? Well, there aren't two of them. You know what this means, don't you? Well, it's... Not great and maybe a bit weird. This means I'm Amy's half-sister, which totally makes sense, because I look way more like her than I do like you. Not really. And if she's my sister, she could give me fashion advice and lend me clothes. Just back it up, OK? Why didn't you tell me about this sooner? You're not seriously going to give that to a woman's refuge? I might. No one's going to wear a cocktail dress if they're in a refuge. Yeah, I guess. That's what I said. You know what? You might want to sort through the rest of my stuff in my room. Anything you like. Serious? Of course. God, she'll be unstoppable. Oh, she's lovely. And I want to help. We know. Hey, all this has been a really good lesson. Like how? The truth will always come out, but it doesn't have to be a bad thing. Yeah, but if we'd been but there... But if we'd been there, there'd be no possum. Hey, would that be so bad? Kevin, that is a terrible thing to say. I'm with him. It has turned out the way it has, so there's no point in blame, because now we know everything. Oh, you are Except not they don't know everything. Well, not all of it. Like. Okay. Oh. 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 Hey. Yeah. Oh. Okay, not my finest hour, but it was the killer punch. And it's not just the girl's trick. not to tell them that either, eh? Oh, darling, I don't think the serenade is gonna carry through. It's gonna carry through. You're screaming and you're fighting with your brain. 